So if you need to make a term for uh, a equation for a sequence, first thing to recognize is that uh, what type of sequence it is. Is it usually uh, geometric or arithmetic? And this is an arithmetic sequence because uh, each one decreases by the same amount each time. Negative 12 decreases by 5 to get to negative 17. It decreases by negative 5 again. If it, uh, it decreased or increased by a different amount each time, you would start uh, wanting to analyze to see if it's geometric. So since this is arithmetic, we have a general form for an arithmetic sequence to help us construct an equation. Uh, it's this form here, where d is the common difference, and a sub 1 is the starting term. So we start on negative 12. The n has to stay in because you need a variable. n is like the number that you plug in to help you find what uh, whatever term you're looking for. And the common difference, we said decreasing 5, so I'm going to put a negative 5 in there. And that's really it. That's the equation for the sequence. Uh, you've probably been taught to simplify things. We can simplify with the distributor property. That's negative 5n plus 5. And so when you combine like terms, you have this cleaner version of the sequence. Negative 12 plus 5, negative 7. So this is the sequence. Again, when you make the sequence, n has to be in there because if you want to find like the 70th term, you plug in 70 in for n. You need to have that variable so you can plug it in. But that's the that's the nth term sequence.